Rock and Roll Hall of Fame by me, Joseph Lawson. Let's do this shit and get over with it. Okay. The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees were a popular disco act of the 1970s. They did lots of cocaine back in the day and it was all... It's all fucking worth it. Yeah, it was all worth it. Buffalo Springs. Buffalo Springs were the popular 60s group that did uh, drugs, coke, and lots of <laughs> fucking drugs. Shit, man. Just shit. Jesus Christ. Crosby, Seals, and Nash was a popular singing group that sang that did fucking drugs. What do you expect? They did drugs. Legends, though. They were fucking legends. Marla Jackson. Not to be confused with Michael Jackson. Marla Jackson was a popular singer back in her heyday. Back in her heyday. The Jackson Five. Speaking of Michael Jackson, this is how he got his start. His father beat him. Hey, hey, Jackson, if you don't sing... I beat you with my fucking belt, you, you motherfucker. <sighs> Marlo Mathel. Marlo Mathel was a popular uh, singer in the 60s. I got the Bob Norton. Bob Norton was a popular country star. Yeah! I'm pretty country star back in his heyday and all that shit and uh, stuff like that. Simple Mass. Simple Mass was a popular record producer back in the day and uh. And that's how he got his fucking start. Shit, man. Shit. Funky Crasher Doll. Funky Crasher Dolls was a popular disco cocaine act. I did cocaine. You may expect to do cocaine. Anyway, cocaine. And cocaine. And finally, we have the Young Rascals. The Young Rascals were a popular 60s band. They did a weed. Drugs and um, all that in between. Uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and all that shit. Bye.